Hey, love box, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown extended family. Just, you know, thank you for being you. You know, you're taking time with yourself. You're taking time with others, even though sometimes it could be hard at times, you know, but, you know, it's always a new day to start off fresh, you know, from square one. So, for that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit the notifi notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. If you feel like you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I'll love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. If you feel like the video is gave you good information or just good vibes that you would love to share with a loved one or a friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for the love and support that you give me as well as my channel. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today I'm listening to Attract Universe universe energy 432 hertz manifestation meditation for abundance wealth and miracle music and i will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 hey okas and just in empaths whoever's empathic um when your karmic curse is coming to an end uh, we've been going through this so long we've been going through the karmic curse you know you could be in, stuck in a situation you can be stuck with you know if you're a, you know a teenager growing up you could be stuck with your your family and they could be you know you might have a narcissistic uh, mother or father or you can be in a relationship with the narcissist or you know sociopath whatever or just stuck in a in a situation that it, it you just seem like is not going to come to an end but it is it truly is you get the signs you get visions it, you know things will come up you know you're synchronizing with certain numbers it i always tell anybody when you see certain numbers especially if they're mirroring each other like 101 or 818 or you know anything that has a double number look that up i always put that number plus angel number and it's like something i could be going through it's like the angels always sending us signs through you know other people um a billboard or somebody will blurt out something that you resonate with or you can come across a video if you watch a lot of youtubes if you're on social media there'll be something that'll make you go towards a positive you know uh group or whatever i try to since i'm only in um facebook i'm not on twitter or anything like that i said maybe one day i'll be you know get on instagram and twitter i really don't understand how that works but um i just with facebook right now but i know what's trending is you know twitter and you know instagram and all that stuff or snapchat um i try to always stay in positive groups um you know something that can help me grow you know keep me grounded and stuff like that but you know we're going through these situations like I'm in a situation I felt like I'm never going to get out of but it's just the whole point on me trying to heal you know seeing things for what they truly are because when we're stuck in a situation I know it can make you mad and piss you off you know you're like oh I'm ready to go anytime something ready <laughs> pops off I'm like that oh I'm ready to go I'm ready to you know I'm just ready to be happy but we have to find that happiness within ourselves before we can go off to that next chapter we got to see what that, that karmic situation is teaching us um i was friends with somebody who was going through you know a similar situation with me except hers is like beyond worse um it was so many things that was happening in our life and i was trying to tell her you know with the situations you're going through and things are cut off where you can save yourself or help yourself you know an abusive relationship got a strain of order and stuff like that and it's like it seems like nothing's being done you know things are all happening for for a reason and we know that can be really dark really ugly but it's like something that a person's not seeing i can't tell you you know what is going on with your life you know only god universe you in the situation knows but it's like we always have to heal from something you know i'm in a narcissistic i was in a narcissistic relationship but i'm stuck in that karmic circle and it's like I always feel like, oh my gosh, you know, when is this going to ever end? When is this going to ever end? And I had to be able to see 
the the things for what they truly were looking at the bigger picture um the situation i have to be in learning to let go of situations knowing that you know things will come on to you you know just to test your faith um just to test just you know you can say you're healing from something and just god's funny sense of humor he'll put something in your way or even the devil will mess with you and put something in your past just to see if you're going to be able to react to it like you were before and so they'll let you know when you can actually step back and see the bigger picture of the things that life is trying to teach you you know this thing can be over because it's like i've told people before we have signed this contract well like we pick our parents we pick the people that we come across um people we deal with you know i know it sounds crazy but it's just like nobody meets by my mere chance or just a coincidence or whatever you can be stuck in a situation where i've been stuck in situations like you know i'm trying to get out of my situation but when i see people that you know i try to tell them you're not a product of the situation you're going through you know um situations have happened to me and I'll tell the people, you know, yeah, I went through this, but I'm, you know, I'm learning from this. I'm growing from this situation. Um, that's the reason why I started my channel. Well, starting my channel is like to find my mom and get to know my family and stuff like that because of my situation that I went through is me being adopted. You know, if you're adopted, you will always want to know, you know, your real family. What are they about? What kind of traits do I have? Is there anything, you know, any kind of family diseases that I have to worry about? All these different things. If you ever, you know, if you're anybody who's watching video, if you've been adopted, you know, just want to know your family. That's that's heartbreaking enough because sometimes when we are as um, adopt, you know, adopted, sometimes that that can come into your life like, you know did they not want me or you could be that one that is adopted i've seen a lot of people that is truly a blessing that you know there were in situations where they weren't abused they actually had the most perfect family you know they didn't lie to them about you know them being adopted you know they actually helped them find our family me on that situation i didn't have that um it was just like by chance i just so happened to look at my military records you know because i was a military brat and it's like when you go to different places they you know they have everything in your records and it just so happened i looked at my records when i was looking like down memory lane and found out that i was adopted even though i knew since i was little i was but you know it would never come out because i always felt different from my family i didn't feel like i fit so you know it was all that but i'm healing from these things you know in situations they may seem hard and I, I would always say it's so unfair that I, you know, I got dealt this, but I know I had to go through this situation for a specific reason. I might not know the whole story, but I know it's like I, I'm, you know, I'm blessed because the fact is, for me going through this situation, it let me know who I am, what I'm gifted with, who I can help out you know knowing that my situation my mess ups you know my knowledge it can help so many empaths and just to know that when you're in a stuck in a karmatic curse you have to really step back you know even though it can be a lot of bs you'd be going through the worst possible things like why don't people listen to me why don't people believe me why doesn't people see me for who i truly am that you have to look at step back and look at the the picture in a positive note you know not when you're in your emotions not when you're in your feelings you have to sit back and just think okay what is the situation teaching me because once you learn the, the the reason why you're in this situation you can grow from it and heal from it the quicker you'll be and that's why i had to learn you know you have to learn you gotta grow things will be is going to test you just to see if you're going to react to it you know and i've caught myself you know snapping you know like why is this happening why is this and this and that but i know i had to learn and grow from that and as soon as you can figure out why you're in your situation where you are it'll be quicker when you get out of it and knowing this is supposed to be the last time you have to go through it so i hope um you were able to resonate with the content of this video send out as so much love and light and positivity i hope you do the same as well i uh, know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and know that there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and my post notification goes out to uh, let me see, Jennifer Foster, Mimi, B, much love to you, many blessings and love and light, and, you know, drop me a line, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share, drop, you know, um, share the video, whatever social media you see fit, and give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you on my next video, much love, peace, and be wild.